The cannabis licenses are being stalled by this lawsuit, filed two months ago by someone claiming he was unfairly excluded from the state's new program. We told you about it then, but it's still causing issues and raising a lot of questions. Like what's going on with the applications filed in western New York? Well, today we got an answer from the state's Cannabis Control Board. The office has reviewed the applications and scored them, but we can't actually give them out until the, the, the legal issue is resolved. That legal issue isn't limited to western New York. The Finger Lakes, Central New York, Brooklyn, and the Mid-Hudson are also blocked from getting applications approved for now. Board member Adam Perry again. You're not just sitting still waiting for the court case to be resolved. You're still evaluating and accepting and moving ahead. For example, finding locations. While applications can't be approved, Reuben McDaniel, head of the state's dormitory authority, said they are negotiating and searching for spots where cannabis shops could eventually open up. We do continue to look for locations in the injunction zone areas, obviously taking a slower approach there. But when the injunction is lifted at whatever point it is, we will be ready to also sign leases of those locations as well. And while there is no telling when the lawsuit that's stalling applications in our region could be resolved, McDaniel said in the next 45 days, soft openings will continue, one coming to Albany and the closest we've seen to western New York, Ithaca. Rob Hackford, Channel 2 News.